welcome back everybody. Uh, Steve from Swamp Bottom Baits here. Uh, today we are going to tie up another crappie jig and if uh, you're interested in taking a look at anything we have to offer there's a link for uh, the tackle box which will take you to our Etsy page. If you're looking for any apparel, mugs, stuff like that there is a link for Swamp Swag that I take it to our free wall page where all that stuff is available. Uh, i got a buddy of mine that does graphics, that's Neptune Multimedia, uh, does great work. If you're interested in something like that, you can look up uh, Neptune Multimedia. So, alright, uh, today what we're going to do is I've got another one of my gold jig heads with the red eyes. And uh, let's get into doing some time. go and we're going to be using some black um, I don't know if you'll be able to read it there that's 140 denier so we're going to go ahead and put just a dab of the Sally Hansons on there just to help lock our thread in Got a little bit too much thread out the spool right at the moment, but we'll get that straightened out. So I'll go back to about the hook point. I'm going to come all the way back up to the head and then back down about halfway, roughly. And we're going to be using some hackle. This is just black hackle from Woods and Waters. And what I've got here is I've got one tip. And I'm going to put two V's on there. A few loose wraps. Try and get it where I want it. I'm trying to put this one vertically as you can see there. And I've got two V's that came off that same feather. And these here I want to put kind of on there so they stick out to the side so I don't know if you can see that where they stick out to the side a little bit and you got that one vertical Tighten that all down. And then we got some gold flashaboo. I'm sorry. Um, this is uh, crystal flash. So we're going to get five strands here. I'm going to lay these straight on the bottom. And the end I cut where they're all even, that is, and I'm going to put towards the back, take it just a hair past where them feathers are.
can see it laying on there. Alright, pretty much got where I want it. Cut that excess off. That's up by the head. And then I just got a bunch of bulk black chenille, uh, roughly about a medium size. I don't remember where I got this off the top of my head. Alright, I see my flash has done turned on me. Let me grab onto that and kind of pull it more. Looks like it's going on the outside of them feathers. So I'm going to take this back off some. Figure out what the problem here is. Because I want that gold to go down between the V's basically. There we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. So bring our bobbin cradle out. So this is nothing but a straight black and gold. Snug that down. Around it once, a couple times around the head. Around it two more times. A couple more times around the head. Snip off our chenille. Go ahead and get some more wraps around it. And as I always do, I put the Sailor Hansons on my thread so it gets down in there as I wrap it. more wraps and then we'll do our whip finish. One, two, three, four, five. Snug it up. Get on there. And I've noticed uh, in a couple of my other videos, the first couple I did, you see I used a uh, nail tool for cutting the thread so that we didn't cut into it. I also found out that if I leave my scissors open just a touch like that and push, it works the same and it's actually got a little bit sharper of an edge on it. So. And there we go. Just a black and gold. You see the gold flash on the bottom. It did roll to the sides just a little bit, but that's all right. And there we are. Appreciate everybody coming in and joining. Uh, would appreciate any likes, subs, 
and uh, shares. Everything's appreciated. You all have a good day. Peace.